All right, let's look at an area model for our problem 7 times 567. So we're going to represent this multiplication with a rectangle. Multi uh, rectangles are terrific ways to model multiplication because if we multiply um, the length times the width, it gives us the area. And then we have our, um, our multiplication fact. So this is not drawn to scale, but let's just imagine that the height of this rectangle, the width is 7, and the length here is 567. So if I multiply these together, I get the, um, the area of this rectangle. Let's break it down a little bit. So let's say that 567 is really 500 plus 60 plus 7. And let's think about, about how this might look. Here's going to be 500 from here to here. 60 might be from here to here. And 7 is from here to here. Again, this isn't drawn to scale, but it gives us an idea of how to look at this as an area model. So I'm going to draw those lines in there. So this section here represents 7 times 500. I'm sorry, I should say the area of this smaller rectangle right here. Let me fill this in here. Equals 7 times 500, which we can think of as 7 times 5 hundreds, which is the same as 35 hundreds which is 3,500. So let's do the same thing now with this, this rectangle here. It's going to be 7 times 60, or 7 times 6 tens, which is 42 tens, which is 420. So the area of that that center rectangle is 420 units. And then on our rectangle here, at the very end, it's just going to be 7 times 7, which equals 49. So now if we want to break down our, our problem, 7 times 567 equals 7 times 500 plus 60 plus 7 which equals 7 times 500 plus 7 times 60 plus 7 times 7. And if I finish out my calculations again, I have 3,500 3, plus 420 plus 49. And now if I add those all together, which I can um, use a, a strategies for addition or standard algorithm, I come up with 3,000, uh, I'm sorry, 3,969.